Hello, everybody. My name is Adam Gordon, an entertainer here at IT Pro TV. I'm your host for this series, and in this episode, we're going to be looking at the activity feed in Microsoft Teams. Join me here, if you will. We can see that we have Teams open, and we're going to zoom in in just a second and take a look at the very, very first icon at the top of our navigation bar right there, our bell that has the word activity underneath it. Now, to the right of the activity icon, you'll see it says the word feed, and there's a little arrow that we can pull down next to it. We're going to take a look at how to filter our feeds in just a moment and understand the activity feed versus my feed and the difference between them. But let's start broadly defining what the activity feed is. The idea of the activity area here and the feeds that are available to us is the idea of pulling together all of the posts and the content and the information that people may be engaging in and creating and talking about within Teams in various areas and exposing it, making it available to us in one easily consumable and one easily searchable and one easily found place. And so by coming here, we get access to that information. Now you'll notice if I look off to the right in the details area, that I'm looking at the general channel and I'm in a team that has kind of a strange icon. This is one of our teams here at IT Pro TV, and this is our social edutainers team, the team that I am a member of being an edutainer here. And so I'm looking at the general channel of that team, and I'm seeing posts that various people have made. You could see here, uh, I have a post from Denise, I have one from Courtney, from Ashley, from different people, and they're going in and they're being made available in different places. And I'm not just seeing posts from one team, I'm seeing them from all teams and different channels. I just happen to focus on the one that Courtney has put up. And if we scroll over, we could see it's one that Courtney posted a little while ago. It's got one of my coworkers there, Joe Peacock, with one of her updates about what's going on during the COVID-19 virus concerns we're all worried about. And we could see she's got some sort of YouTube content that she's been working on, and Courtney was kind enough to post it and make it available for us. And so by putting it in there, I could just come here and take a look and say, oh, that's interesting. I didn't know Joe was doing that. And I can go take a look if I want to. I have access to all of my channels, my teams, and all of the various tabs that are available as I look at the posting. So as a result, I can still be focused on being productive. I can still see all the information, access all the different areas and tools. I can just do so from one place instead of having to jump around into all the different teams to look at what may be going on across all the different channels. In addition, at the far end of any of the posts, I could see if somebody has reacted, looks like one of our coworkers, Wes, another edutainer here, reacted, said, hey, I like this, and used an emoji. And I have access to those emojis, and I can react as well, and maybe say, you know what, that's cool, let me heart that. And I can put my little reaction in there at the same time, right? Now, it seems to make Joe happy because she's smiling. And so as I move over, I can see that Courtney is available. I see the status indicator for Courtney. And as I scroll down, I can see different people posting different things. And notice that IT Pro TV, social edutainers, different teams, followed by random, general, different channels. I'm pulling in posts from all over the different elements and areas of our team's landscape into this feed. And as I come up here, and I look at the feed, if I pull down this arrow, I'm gonna see that I actually have two versions of or two ways to see the activity. I have the general activity feed, which is broad and encompasses posting from anybody across the organization that's putting content in to teams that I may be aware of, be a member of, and wanna find out about. So it's a, a broad look. And then I could filter it even more and go to the My Activity filter, which means I'm only gonna see posts and activity that I have initiated, that I have created, and that I'm participating in, a subset of the overall general feed. So let's change that view. You're gonna see very quickly it changes, and you can see here that the user who's initiated all of these is me. And you can see me and my email address right there. Please email if you wanna say hi. And you can see that as I move over, this post is from the IT Pro TV team, the general team. It's an org wide team. It's in the posts, as you can see, tab, and it's in the random channel. And this is a post that I put out on the power of Lego. And I have a little filter, or rather a link there that allows me to see it if I want to. I can reply there. Looks like somebody has liked that post, one of our other team members here at IT Pro TV. And I can go down the list 
and I can see that this one was in random, this one was in general, et cetera. If I want to filter even further beyond just my activity, I want a subset of my activity unique to one of these channels, maybe the general channel or the random channel. I can use the filter and I can type, and let's just say I just want to see random. So I start typing, you'll see it filters my activity to only reflect things that have been posted into the random channel in the IT Pro TV team. If I want to see general, I can do that. And sure enough, it highlights, shows me there's more than one. And it says, hey, these are all things that seem to be aligned with general, or at least G-E-N-E-R as I'm typing general. And we can see that, yes, sure enough, all those are. But the one that said random is no longer there. And so I can use the filter to be able to constrain and further refine that view, showing me only the information that I'm truly interested in seeing and interacting with. Don't overestimate or underestimate the value of activity feeds because what they allow you to do is be very productive by zeroing in on and really filtering out all the background material that you don't wanna see and allowing you to focus in in a very concise way in one area on all the things that may be important to you and members of your team. I'll be back with more episodes going over more interesting areas, tips and tricks in our ongoing series on Microsoft Teams. But until then, happy teaming. Check out the playlist for more Microsoft Teams tips and be sure to subscribe to the IT Pro TV channel. I'm Adam Gordon, and thanks for watching.